Hey guys, Dan here with another graphic novel review. This time we're reviewing Frank Miller's Ronin. Um, if you're not familiar with who Frank Miller is, he did the Dark Knight Returns series. And he's kind of known for this kind of gritty type of storytelling and the artwork and all that. And I have to say, this was pretty fantastic. Um, this was originally printed as a six-issue limited series in 1983 and in 1984. It must have, like, crossed over. They must have did it late summer, and it must have went over into the new year. And it's about this guy. If you're not familiar with what a Ronin is, I should probably explain to you what exactly a Ronin is. Um, a Ronin is a masterless samurai and in the 13th century, this guy, um, his master is killed by a demon named Agat. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And he vows to take vengeance on his master's slaying. So he finishes his samurai training. And, you know, it, then it ends up, it switches between the two time periods, between the 13th century and the 21st century. So yeah, there's reincarnation, too. Um, I, I read Frank Miller's Dark Knight Return series. I really enjoyed those books. So of course when I saw that he wrote this, this is my first reading of this. Um, I was kind of interested, I will admit. Um, it kind of reminds me of Mobius. If you've never heard of Mobius, he's like this French artist who did these sci-fi sci type comics. Uh, it's kind of similar to that, and it kind of reminds me of uh, 80s Japanese manga. Because it's kind of got that kind of feel to it, too. You know, kind of like Blade Runner and like Akira and all that. So, it was kind of interesting. Um, there are a few major players. Of course, there's the Demon of God. There's the Ronin. Um, there's this guy who was born without arms and legs who's named Billy. I can't really say too much about him because he's a key player in the story with the 21st century. Um, there's other lady named Casey. There's this guy named Mr. Tagger who kind of, I can't really say too much about him either. But, you know, there were some lengthy dialogue type pages, but then they would make up for it and there would be like three or four pages of action scenes. So it's not that bad. I know it does look kind of daunting because it is kind of big. But, you know, I gotta be careful what I share with you guys because I think this is a sex scene. But they're not really showing anything in that part, but gotta be careful because... It, um, if I did not mention this, this was published in 1983 and 1984. It's really worthwhile checking out, um, even if you have not read any of Frank Miller's other works. Um, if you're typically somebody who reads manga, you might want to check this out. This might be the thing, like, if you're not really... Like, let's say you're one of those people that is just into manga, but you don't really read American comics, and... Maybe this is the bridge to help you cross over. Go ahead and check this out. Um, of course, as always, I will have a link down below to purchase a copy for yourselves if you're interested. I did rate this 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I thought it was worthwhile reading. It's, a, it's pretty decent, I might add. Um, also, there's the tip jar link if you can help me out with a few bucks here or there. Um, I'm trying to save for movie editing software, lighting, microphones, stuff like that. Maybe even some new books to review that I just can't find anywhere else that I have no choice but to purchase. I'm even willing to have you guys mail me books if you're into that kind of thing. If there's a certain book you want me to read, um, go ahead and feel free to mail me. You know, you can message me and I can give you my address, stuff like that. But that's all I got for you guys. If you're new here and you're looking for graphic novel comic book reviews, go ahead and hit that subscriber link. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Later.